Thank you for your testimony. The next registered witness we will call on is Alex Stein. You may begin when indicated. Um, you got to put on your microphone. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I've been sitting here all day. Can I get, I'll just go over 15 seconds because it started a little late. So my name is Alexander Hayden Stein. I work for a company in Las Colinas outside of Dallas, Texas called Oculus Tech. And I'm looking at the city of New York and you guys have serious environmental protection problems. But I'm coming here with solutions, creative solutions for the 21st century, 22nd century, for the future, because this building was built in 1802 and we're still stuck in that mindset. We need to focus on what is called the metaverse. My company, we create technology where you're gonna be able to live in a pod that is indistinguishable from your current reality. And as a matter of fact, when you plug into this metaverse, instead of living your traditional 72 year average lifespan, in the metaverse, you'll be able to live for a thousand years. We're gonna be able to reduce our greenhouse emissions greatly because we're gonna be able to put people inside of pods. And in these pods, you think, oh, well, everybody's gonna be asleep. That is true because of the COVID technology and the medical technology that we've gotten. We have intubation technology that people will actually be able to be you know, asleep for years, years and years for the rest of their life. And you think, oh, well, is this going to stop jobs? As a matter of fact, you're going to have a lot of jobs because you're going to have to deal with their fecal matter. You're going to have to deal with their urine. You're going to have to deal with, you know, hooking up the machines, intubation. So this is going to help the health field. And you guys, when you talk about the future and you talk about the metaverse, right now, this military-grade tech that we're using is basically indistinguishable what we have now. So if we can release this on the, on the population, you can go into a metaverse, you can live an incredibly great life. Um, the sex that you have in the metaverse is indistinguishable from sex you know, outside. The food you eat is indistinguishable from the food you eat out here. And that's the future that we need to live. So New York, we need to really focus on having creative solutions because we can sit here and talk about carbon, you know, trading carbon all day long. That's not gonna do anything. We need to plug into these machines because the city that never sleeps needs to go to sleep forever. That's what, that's what I think is the best solution for this, Jim. Any questions? Thank you for your testimony. We will now call for any registered witnesses that were not called on Zoom to please raise your hand for the Zoom host. And I will ask the Zoom host to indicate whether there are any additional witnesses waiting to be called on virtually. No questions, Jim? No. There are no Thank you. Who Thank you. Alex Stein, Oculus Tech out of Los Colinas. Thank you. It does not appear that we have any um, registered witnesses. 